Today I want to talk about taking thoughts captive. A lot of people struggle with negative thoughts that are coming, they are like bombarding you some, somehow with lots of thoughts. It's like um, thoughts that are racing into your mind and you, you don't know what to do about that. And it's often like negative thoughts, uh, thoughts that are saying that you aren't good enough, that you can't succeed, uh, thoughts that can have uh, coming in through trauma in your life or hard things. And it's so important to take those thoughts captive uh, under the obedience in Christ. So thoughts that are attacking you, just don't partner with it. A thing you can do is, is also to write down those thoughts that are, that are racing in your mind and look at it and kind of like compare it to the truth and be like, is that a lie or is it a truth? And just try to erase the lie and put in the, a true thought instead. But it's important to keep your thoughts captive. Today's topic is about the thoughts that are racing through your mind and you can't control it. A lot of people are struggling with negative thoughts that are coming in. So you can actually decide what you're going to partner with, what thoughts you're going to have. So remember the story about having a happy thought? Well, that's so, that is so true in the real life as well. So having happy thoughts. And I want you to just dig, dig out there good memories from your past, things that you want to do, and also what the Bible is saying about you, what the scripture is saying, so you can walk in your true identity in Christ. Because uh, the enemy wants to disturb you. He don't want you to go into your destiny. And he want to come with, with thoughts that are negative, thoughts that are rising through your mind. But you need to take those thoughts captive under obedience in Christ and be like, hey, I'm not going to partner with that. I'm going to walk in, in my identity as a believer in the Messiah. And that's going to help you. Today's Bible scripture is 2 Corinthians 10, 4-5. The weapons of our warfare are not physical, weapons of flesh and blood. Our weapons are divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. We are destroying sophisticated arguments and every exalted and proud thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God. And we are taking every thought and purpose captive to the obedience of Christ. So this is, a, um, this is an amazing promise that you can take thoughts captive, thoughts, thoughts that are coming against you, lies, lies from the past or things that are hard to take or things that are coming or even from traumas and stuff. And you can take those thoughts captive and be like, no, I'm not going to partner with those thoughts. I'm going to partner with what God is saying about me. And then you can trust in God for your life and for what he has for you. Be blessed.